Hello guys, and welcome back to the Zane Investing. Let's discuss everything you need to know about the upcoming week with AMC and the general markets as economic data will be released. The box office numbers for Avatar are pouring in like water, and they might be rather strong. Therefore, let's jump right into it. We will not squander time with lengthy introductions. We will not be discussing that here today. I only request that you click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you wish to remain up to date with AMC or the broad markets, you should read the following articles. Now, first things first. Let's discuss some essential and AMC-specific information. You are receiving numbers from Avatar that are somewhat inconsistent. So Avatar, the way of water debuts with 134 million, slightly missing box office projections. The opening weekend of Avatar. The Way of Water earned $134 million at the domestic box office. It was certain to surpass the $175 million that industry observers had predicted and just under the $135 million to $150 million range that Disney had predicted overseas, with the film's opening weekend gross totaling $434.5 million. Now, on the one hand, domestic box office kind of fell short of expectations but overseas box office for this weekend was incredibly strong, and I believe it will be, I guess, a compensating factor for domestic box office, right? It was over a half billion dollar film just for Friday, Saturday, and so far on Sunday when I began filming this video around 7-0pm. Consequently, the film will be viewed by a larger audience. These are the numbers we are currently receiving, and as of right now, I do expect it to have a favorable effect on AMC stock, because whenever such blockbuster films are released, AMC stock tends to perform well as well. So there you have it. Now we will also have economic statistics this week, but it will be a really strange week because you won't have anything substantial until Friday. You do have new home building permits, the November estimate for which will be released on Tuesday, and on Wednesday, the Canadian inflation rate is released. On Thursday, Core PC prices are available. In the approaching week, a significant amount of data from the months of November and December will be finalized. On Friday, however, you will receive information regarding personal income month over month for November, personal spending month over month for November, and durable goods orders month over month for November. Consequently, you should be aware that these factors influence the markets, particularly at the moment. The markets are less concerned about the Fed's further tightening. They are more concerned about the impending recession. The question is, what depth will it be? How much should the market currently discount this? And this is why the stock market is actually declining, and why many firms find it difficult to react to positive news when the macroeconomic environment as a whole is deteriorating. In addition, you will receive the PC price index year over year at 9.30 a.m. and month over month on the following Friday. And this is the Fed's chosen inflation gauge. And what's noteworthy about this is that you won't receive economic data from the beginning of the week until the end of the week, from the high point of last week to the low point of last week. It appears that we lost 8%. This is a large drop, and historically, such declines have always been followed by a rebound. The markets rarely move exclusively in one direction. And comparing last week's S and P highs to lows, you dropped almost 8%. I anticipate some service stocks such as AMC, travel, leisure, and hospitality names outperformed because this was definitely not a domestic victory. It met the majority of Disney's expectations. However, a global opening weekend of half a billion dollars for any film is very, very fantastic. And, you know, even though there were quite high expectations, they were partially realized. This was not a massive failure by any stretch of the imagination and it will be a massive box office success for weeks to come. In light of the fact that AMC stock is trading at some of its lowest levels in a very long time, I do believe a positive reaction is possible. Now let's take a look at some stock tracker data. People, since a part of me believes that next week you could potentially experience a large surge due to options, this is illustrated by the fact that 1,300 calls are currently in the money, while 96,000 calls for puts are currently out of the money. You presently hold 11,000 in the money puts and about 20,000 out of the money puts. Therefore, you have five times as many calls for the expiration of options the next week. Then, four puts are performed 
Therefore, even if the stock fell a tiny bit, you won't see much of that. Delta hedging by market makers due to the dearth of puts available for this week's option expiration. In contrast, if you begin to rise, there are many calls that may need to be hedged, especially if AMC moves up significantly. Therefore, the number of calls to be placed for next week is a component that I am actively monitoring and which leads me to be quite optimistic about next week. Additionally, next week is highly optimistic because there are relatively few shares available for shorting. Currently, you are seeing 0600-1000. Occasionally, there are few shares available to be sold short. This is exponentially increasing these charges to borrow money. And you can even see the increase from Thursday to Friday, which was 3% for our average cost, 6% for our maximum cost, and 7% for our least cost to borrow. This pattern is anticipated to continue during the following week. Last week, somewhere between 500,000 and 2 million shares were sold short on a daily basis. Similarly, the live, short interest free float is also steadily increasing. And I'm certain the actual figure is much higher than what was published. Currently, the live short interest free float is at 19.14%, an increase of 1.41% since Friday. Approximately 99 million shares are now sold short. On Friday, 1.37 million shares sold short. As previously said, when there is an abundance of aggressive shorting, the price of the stock does not tend to move in a single direction. There is typically a great deal of volatility back and forth. That is the point. AMC has been steadily declining. Therefore, it would not surprise me in the least if the price rose to the 50-day moving average or slightly higher. The upcoming week should see an increase in AMC stock price, since I believe the company's fundamentals are quite favorable. Guy. Thus, all of this information is available. Consider the option activity, which consists of 36 orders totaling $1.4 million, 53% order value positive. Last Friday, a large number of calls were put on the option chain, with many of them expiring on December 23rd, and many of them for the $6 strike as well as the $5 strike or $8 strike for 2024. There is considerable activity surrounding these longer dated expiration dates. And you can also see that on Friday, December 23, 2022, 75.71% of the volume is calls and 24.29% is puts. Thus, there is a significant distinction between calls and puts, and it clearly demonstrates that people are quite enthusiastic on AMC. And despite the fact that AMC fell roughly 5% on Friday, you guys still saw 36 orders totaling $1.4 million with a positive order value of 53%. This concludes the most of the content for this video. Hopefully, you understand the main idea. It will be an extremely busy week. Therefore, thank you for viewing. Click the like button. Register for the channel. Provide your thoughts, questions, or concerns in the comment space below. We appreciate your watching. Enjoy the remainder of the evening, and I'll see you in the next one.